Hello everybody, in this tutorial uh, I will show you how to use comment contour. This is not well known comment, uh, but very useful when you're doing uh, prototypes, when you're doing furniture design, when you're doing models, uh, anything to show uh, in business uh, reality. So let's start. Uh, I've prepared uh, kind of chair, prototype of chair made by mm, uh, plastic or uh, roto molding in a future technology. Uh, but first I want to mm, I want to just show it to someone uh, to believe me that uh, mm, this is really good design. And I decide to make it in uh, MDF uh, or in uh, plywood so uh, I first go to website and check what's the thickness uh, w I can use to prepare my uh, my prototype. So th this is the best uh, uh, subs subscription, best standard and custom MDF uh, sizes. So it depends, of course, of your CNC machine. Uh, I normally use uh, at 18 to as a standard for machines because this is kind of good thickness um, but you can as much as you prefer use m bigger or, or smaller all right uh, to do the prototype i want to have a uh, slices of my prototype uh, and then use the slices as a data for cnc machine uh, to cut it so let's have a look you have to find the command contour and you have to select object of course your object have to be in a one-to-one -one scale and then I need to show what's gonna be the base plane so base plane we're gonna be that one and now what's gonna be s uh, the distance between the slices so in this case I decide uh, set it to be uh, one point eight, uh, one centimeter eight millimeters eighteen millimeters so I just need to type eighteen and press and press enter and actually uh, now I can hide my object and I've got only slices. Uh, this is very uh, useful when uh, you have machine and or where you have studio when you can do it. I, ca I can, I've been using this quite often. What you can do it now. So if you, uh, for example, take the size of your, of your MDF as a uh, let be 90 90 per 60 900 per 6 600 just for for example i have to set up top view so i know this is size my machine can easily fix with no problem because i don't i don't have a big machine so mm, I have a I would be uh, in trouble making big sizes and now you just can take this uh, this slices and put them on your board well I'm sure there is some kind of uh, uh, some kind of mm, software which will use it I would will do it automatically but if you want to have a if you want to do it uh, manually and you can easily use Rhino you don't have to spend lots of money for really expensive software you just uh, can do it manually for your studio purposes so uh, this is basically uh, the, w the best way but you, you've got something like like that because this is like a, like levels of your of your contour you have to easily make them flat by 
selecting set x equal z coordinates, coordinates and you have to find out what you need to uh, flat where which axis you need to, mm, to set as a flatten axis so i'm gonna uh, use z axis and now everything look now everything is on one level and you can set up on one level now uh, actually if you m your machine is this uh, you can easily do these sizes so you can t export this data as a dxf or d w g j or i a whatever you like whatever your machine uh, you can use uh, and and cut it i recommend to uh, decrease the size decrease the weight of your object to make uh, offsets of your components to make it lighter because you don't need actually you don't need uh, all material which is inside because this is wasting and also very your object will be very heavy to carry and uh, now you can easily uh, I don't know what happened with this one but this is, not a this is not a big deal and now you can easily cut it and uh, enjoy your object of course y you're gonna have a steps here like uh, like MDF uh, edge steps but you can uh, work it out later with the uh, with the uh, different materials so basically this is it enjoy <laughs>